Hi, and welcome to this video brought to you from Maths from Scratch. This video is finding the median level 2. In this video, we will be focusing on how to find the median when there are an even number of numbers written in a row. Now, this video follows on from our first video of our median series, finding the median level 1. And in that video, we were looking at how to find the median when there were an odd number of numbers in a row. For example, when there were 7, 5, 11 numbers written in a row. Now in this video, we are looking at how to find the median when there are an even number of numbers in a row. So this method will work when there are 6, 8, 12 even numbers. Now if you are new to finding the median, I recommend you check out finding the median level 1 first and then come back and watch this one. This method also does involve halving numbers and if you're not that confident in halving numbers, you should watch another one of our videos from Math from Scratch, how to halve numbers and then come back and watch this one. So let's go ahead and have a look at our first example. So the main thing that you should notice here is that there are an even number of numbers here written in a row. We want to find the median, and that is the middle number of these numbers once they have been organised from smallest to highest. So there is our first step. We're going to go ahead and put these numbers in numerical order. So my first number is a 1, then I have a 2, then I'm going to strike that off. Then my next number is a 4. Then a 5. Then I have a 9. Then my next number is a 10. Then my next number is a 12. Striking all the while. And then my last number is 16. And now step 2. You'll be pleased to know it's exactly the same as finding the median level 1. So we're going to strike down from the outside and see if our median is isolated in the middle. So let's strike down from the outside, so right side, then left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, here is where the method differs. Now, we actually have no number that is isolated in the middle. So whereabouts is our median then? Well, here's an important concept. Our median is going to lie in between the 5 and the 9. It's going to lie here. And so our median is actually going to be a number that is not in our list or in our row. And that is okay. And so then this is where we look at step 3. And this is how we find the number that lives in between 5 and 9. We add together the numbers either side and then we half our answer. So 5 plus 9 gives me 14. And then I need to half this, or divide by 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. And so my median of these numbers is going to be a 7. So let's have a look at another example. So we have 8 numbers again, written in a row. So our first job is to put these in numerical order. So my first one is a 1. Then I have a... 7, then I've got an 8, then I have two 9s, so I can strike those off in one go because I know I've got two of them, then I've got a 10, then I can see I've got a 23, and then I have a 56, strike that off. And now all that's left for me to do is to now strike down from the outsides. So striking from the right side, then the left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side. So now my median is going to lie in between these two nines. Okay. So we're still going to use this method. We're going to add these together, either side, and then I'm going to half my answer. So 9 plus 9 is going to give me 18, and then I do... 18 divided by 2, and that gives me 9. So my median, in this case, is going to be 9. Okay, so let's have a look at our final example. So step 1, we're going to put these in numerical order. So we've got a 4, 
And then the next one is a six. Then we have a seven. Then we've got a nine. Strike that one through. Then we've got a 20, a 21. And the next one is a 43. And then we've got a 45. So those are my numbers in numerical order. And now let's strike down from the outside. So we've got a 45, a 4, 43, 6, 21, 7, 20 and a 9. So my median is going to lie in between 20 and 9. Now this is where step 3 really helps because it's not immediately obvious which number lies in between 20 and 9. So we're going to use step 3. So add together the numbers either side. So 20 plus 9 is 29. Then we divide 29 by 2. So 29 divided by 2 is whatever our median is. Now, halving 29 is not as easy as it looks, so I'm just going to use a little method that was explained in How to Halve Numbers, which is another video from Maths from Scratch. So, we're going to find two easy numbers that make up 29. So, the obvious ones are going to be 20 and 9. Then all we do is half each one of these separately. So, half of 20 is going to be 10. Half of 9 is 4.5. Then all we do is add these two numbers together. So 10 plus 4.5 is 14.5, or 14 and a half. So my median for example three is 14.5. So median is 14.5 or 14 and a half. Now that some examples have been demonstrated, let's have some practice. Pause the video Grab a piece of paper and have a go at these practice questions. Once you have answered them, watch the answer video where we will go through and explain every question in detail. Happy medium finding and thanks for watching this video brought to you by Maths From Scratch.